So I know this is the video most of you have been waiting for, and this is the question I get asked a lot. So let's get into the video. Hi, my name is Kwame. I'm a voiceover artist based in Accra, Ghana, and I've been doing this for the last eight years. And this one question I do get asked a lot. Fine, have shared some of the behind the scenes and how to read voiceovers, and I'm gonna try as much as possible to share more content on voiceovers as far as my experience goes. And this one is one of the questions that people ask a lot because it's very practical, it's very direct, and uh, it helps any voiceover see that, well, they're doing something right and it makes it easier for them to also earn a living from voiceover. So the question is, how do I get more voiceover gigs? How do I get into the industry? How do I get more clients? That is a question I get asked a lot and people want to find practical steps to earn more or to get more gigs or to get more clients for voice over work. Now, these are the things I have done over the course of eight years and I still actually um, religiously do. So these are the things that you need to know if you want to get more gigs. And one of the things I do or one of the things I did before um, happens to be something that I think it's applicable to Ghana and West Africa because I don't know any other place of any other place or I don't have any um, international experience in that sense as in I've not lived in another country I don't know how the voiceover industry work so I'm going to share these three things two of which are general and accessible to everyone wherever you're watching this video from and one of them is a practical step to do if you're in Ghana or West Africa or even Africa in general so let's get to the first one and I'm going to talk about that one which is based, no, no, I think I'll start with the easiest to the one that is um, practical or um, relatable to only, possibly relatable to only um, Ghanaians or West Africans or Africans. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first one is uh, putting yourself out there, the practical step of putting yourself out there. There are so many voiceover scripts out there online. You can write your own script if you're a good writer, but that's a whole separate um, story or a whole separate uh, video if I have to teach you how to script. But you can get voiceover scripts, which I say often in all my videos that have to do with voiceovers. EdgeStudio.com is one of the places that has a ton of sample voiceover scripts that you can use. So you have voiceover scripts that you record and put it out there on social media, advertising what you do. You can record this in a video form or audio format. If you do in a video format, then you introduce yourself, go over these scripts. And if it's going to be audio formats, there's this way you can do it with um, an online app called Headliner, which allows you to post audio especially on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook as video, just by adding a picture to it. So you add a picture, you add your audio to it with your, you can, the picture can even be your face as your CV or introduction to what you do. So headliner, headliner.com is one of the websites you can use to do this. So you record this audio or these audio, which our advice that you do um, different styles of what kind of clients you want to attract. So if you want to do documentary narration, if you want to do uh, regular ads or commercial ads, or you want to do um, TV announcer, all these things that you want to do, get a few scripts which are about 15 seconds long for each of the genres that show your you know, versatility, about 15 seconds long, and piece it together in a one minute or 60 second, 60 second um, audio clip, yes a 60 second audio clip, piece it together and you can either mix it with music so that it sells to a, um, a specific target or do it without audio, which is also good for some clients because then they can hear exactly how you sound without any noise or without any music backing you up. So you have to do both if you want to sell to different kinds of audiences. But I think whether you want to sell to different kinds of audiences or not, doing both will help improve your chances of getting noticed because then their clients can listen to you without any noise and then they know how you sound if they mix your voice with music. So do both and put it out there on Twitter and do it as often as you can. The thing is, just like you'll be posting photos or Facebook posts or whatever it is, there is no limit to how many posts you can make with these things. You can 
do it once every month, once every two weeks, once, so long as you're practicing, so long as you're putting yourself out there, the chances of increasing your getting clients will go up. So do this 15 second scripts, a mix of them, or you can even do one genre, which is like maybe commercial uh, voiceovers and do 15 second scripts, different scripts, put it together as one genre. You can do documentary narrations, one genre, like just do a lot. You have the opportunity, you have the social media. Yeah, you have social media at your disposal to do all these things and put it out there to see that if you're going to get um, clients from that. Also let your friends share and know, um, ask for retweets and ask for shares when you post it on social media, let people see what you can do. So that is the first step and the most accessible to most people that I, I mean, I know that do voiceovers. And if you don't have a studio, it means that you have to either use your phone in a closet, like I've mentioned before, or go to a studio, prepare your scripts, do it properly, and then mix it up and put it on social media. Whatever you do, make sure the client is seeing the quality that is to be expected from you. Um, this leaks into the second um, point or the second practical way that you can get voice over gigs. And it's online. There are online platforms, a lot of online platforms that look for specific voice talents. And there are hundreds of thousands of voice talents out there. There is Voices.com, there is Fiverr, um, there is Voicebooking.com. All of them are going to be on your screen as I say them. You can check them out. I'm actually also going to leave it in the description below. You can check all these platforms up, which also follows the same um, method I've just described by recording samples. First, you set up a profile, you add your picture, you tell the site or it's more like a CV or voice over CV. Tell them what you do, what you've done, the clients you've worked with and your experience, the equipment you use and all that. You fill the form out and put out your samples. The more the samples, the more you increase your chances of getting voice over work. And the good thing, as well as the bad thing is, sometimes if you are based in these parts of the world and your native accent is West African or Ghanaian, then it might work for you to get clients who specifically want native uh, voices. You can't compete with somebody who is a native, um, who has a native American accent or a native British accent. Unless you have a really good neutral accent that can cut across internationally, then good for you. If you can do the West African, you get your clients. Although I must say that there, it's not so much. It's not so much. So chances of getting specific international gigs are not as much as you would get if you put yourself out there on social media for local clients to find you. So these websites will help you set up your profile. Make sure you remind people every now and then as often as you can. And yeah, hopefully somebody will call you for a voice over gig. Again, if you don't have a studio, get a studio to record your voiceover and send it over to the client. If you have a studio, then all the best. Now, the third one is what is most, uh, relatable to people in Ghana and West Africa and maybe Africa, per my experience in the last eight years. And I would say that, well, <laughs> goodwill doesn't count as a practical step because I've been doing this for long and I do get word of mouth. I still put out a lot of these um, sample audios every now and then to remind people that this is what I do. But a practical step for the third one, especially if you're in Africa and people ask this question, what do I do? Do I need to record a voiceover and, you know, uh, look for the client or apply for jobs or whatever it is? So I remember working through agencies. Most of your clients, most of your big clients may be coming or work with agencies. They don't work directly with you as a client or as a voiceover artist, work with agencies. And agencies have databases of voices that they use. And this is where it becomes more specific to Ghana, West Africa, whatever it is, because then local language plays a key role. You can be a chief voiceover artist, you can be a Ga voiceover artist, an ever voiceover artist, uh, Hausa, or whatever local language that the clients may need for specific um, campaigns that they are running. So just like the first and second um, practical steps, you need to record these sample audios 
in ones that are mixed with music and ones that are not mixed with uh, music clean ones, even ones that just introduce you as who you are and what you do and how you are willing to work with the client. You can find out how to script one of these um, voiceover profile recordings and you can record it in different tones. You can record it in the tones that you expect that you get clients for. Either you record it in a commercial style or documentary style or just introducing yourself so that the clients can tell from the tone of your voice or yeah, how you sound and whether they want to work with you. Now, these advertising agencies are ones that I have worked with um, in my career doing voiceovers, and I'm going to list them. So just remember them. I don't have websites for them. So just remember them or write them down. Um, in Ghana, locally, as far as I know, I've worked with Innova DDB. I've worked with Incel Advertising. I've worked with Mixdown Studios or the, the company Center Stage. Um, I've worked with apex advertising um is that renegade as well i don't know if renegade is still running but yes uh, these are five of the most popular places i can confidently remember that i have worked with they are agencies that you can literally walk to or go to and share your voiceovers with if they think that they, they can find a spot for you they'll add your voice to their database and call you when they get gigs like I was saying before, voiceover is by merit. You have to be really good to get clients. And if you're not good and you're not getting calls, then it means that you need to practice more and improve your craft before you get those calls. So that is basically it. This is how you can get voiceover gigs. It's either doing that or you get to the point where, like I was saying, it's goodwill. You have your own studio. You stay at home. You record your videos. Um, no, your audios and you send to clients, you mix it up or don't mix it up depending on how they want it and you get paid. So it takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of practice to build a voiceover career. But since you asked for practical steps to do this, these are the advertising agencies and this is what you need to know or do. Some of them would require you to even come to the studio to record your sample that they would be sending to clients because they have sample scripts specific to their studio that is sent to clients. That can happen, but you have to make the first step of actually going out there and sharing what you can do. So if you found this video uh, useful for your course of getting you know, more voiceover gigs, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to the video and kindly share with whoever needs to see this video as well. And I'll try as much as possible to come your way. Share in the comment section below which other places or which other um, voiceover tips and tricks you would like to know so I know where to go in my next video as far as voiceovers is concerned. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and more gigs to you. Peace.